crossing the loch. Remember how we rode toward the cottage on the sickle-shaped bay, that one night after the pub loosed us through its swinging doors, and we pushed across the shingle till water lipped the sides as though the loch mouthed boat. I forget who rode, our jokes hushed, the oars splash, creak, and the spill of the loch reached long into the night. Out in the race I was scared, the cold shawl of breeze and hunched hills, what the water held of deadheads, ticking nuclear hulls. Who rode and who kept their peace? Who hauled salt air and stars deep into their lungs were not reassured? And who first noticed the loch's phosphorescence, so like a twittering nest washed from the rushes, an astonished small boat of saints? We watched water shine in our fingers and oars, the magic dart of her bow wave. It was surely foolhardy, such a broad loch, a tide, but we live, and even have children to women and men we had yet to meet that night we set out, calling our own the sky and salt water, wounded hills dark starred by blaberries, the glimmering anklets we wore in the shallows as we shipped oars and jumped to draw the boat safe high at the cottage shore.